Okay, so it's done. So now we're going to pull this out. Do a little shake, shake, shake. This is the top one. This is the grits. As soon as I figure out how to open it. There we go. Don't want the water. There's the cheese grits. Oh my god, that smells so good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I think I might need two hands to stir this because this isn't working out so well with one hand. The grits all like solidified on the bottom. They're not stuck. They're not like sticking. They come up. It's just they got cheese and stuff in them. Oh, there we go. Interesting. Yeah, they're not sticking to the bottom. They're just... Well, this is hard to do with one hand. I got cheese in it too, so that probably has a lot to do with it as well. But, yeah. Interesting. I just got to do a much better job of mixing it up, that's all. And getting the lumps out, which all I got to do is just take my fork and do this. And the lumps come out. Oh, and I gotta tell you, it smells wonderful. Nice and thick. You can see the pepper still in there. Yeah, there we go. It's all coming together now. Probably have to do the same thing. This is the first time I've made grits ever in the Instapot. And you saw it as I saw it. I didn't like take it apart and look at it first or probably should have done that. That would have been a little bit more professional maybe, but well, yeah, grits. Maybe not as much milk next time. I don't use water, I use milk. I use milk in the oatmeal too, not water. But, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's freaking good. Maybe a touch more salt. I think I need to fill up my salt shaker. And while I'll add it because I can, we'll add some more pepper. Why not? The spice of life, right? Mix that up. Okay, next. Oatmeal! Now I have to get the grits off the fork. And stir this. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's see if this works better. See how it doesn't stick on the bottom? Nothing sticks. That's awesome. I think this is how Diane likes her grits. They're super soft. They smell wonderful. No, again, nothing sticking. This is whole, whole oats. This is not steel cut, cut up. This is this is your your whole oats. Oh, yep, that's good too. Now, I'll add some frozen fruit to that, just to spice up a little bit. You can taste. I didn't put a lot of brown sugar in it. But you can definitely taste the brown sugar, so that's good. Cheesy grits, awesome. The oatmeal, I guess you could call it brown sugar oatmeal, even though there's not a lot of brown sugar in it. Comes out good. Nothing stuck to the bottom of the pan on either one. Again, these were made with milk, not water. I like the richness of the milk a lot better than the than water. But uh, they both turned out awesome. And now I'm going to have to eat them. I'll probably add a little bit of frozen fruit to this one. And if I have to warm it up a little bit, 
it'll be warmed up in that. It actually has a reheat option on it, which is cool. But uh, there's all the different modes. You know, you get your toast, your bagel, your broiled, bake, roast, warm, pizza. Um, proof, if you're making bread, you want to proof your dough. Air fry, which I'll probably use the most. Reheat, cookies, slow cook, and then dehydrate as well. So uh, that's the smart oven. Has a uh, has a cutting board that fits on the very top of it with silicone feet, because the top of this gets hot. And this is kind of like the protective layer. And then all these pans and everything, broiler pan, pizza pan, all that comes with it. The the cutting board doesn't. That was separate. But all those pans came with it. And uh, the two racks inside come with it. But uh, I'll show you some more of that here later. Um, right now, I'm going to eat what I would call would be lunch. Because it's... Oh, crap. I just zoomed on the camera and didn't even know I did it. It's 20 after 12. So, yeah. So, okay. There you go. Um... Oatmeal and grits all done at the same time in the Instapot 10 minutes. It's been It's been cooling for 30 minutes, but uh Yeah, all good to go. We'll cancel that and uh, There's the 10 minutes that it was set for and as usual, you know one cup of water in there. That's all it took and uh, It worked awesome so uh, I'll let you know whenever I do something again Mom, let me know if you'd be interested in the push button um, salt and pepper grinder <clears throat> grinders where all you got to do is pick it up and push a button instead of twist stuff or use the uh, already granulated stuff where they put chemicals in it so it doesn't clump up and stuff like that. Um, let me know. All right, everybody. I'm out. Bye.